morning fellow mathematicians, welcome back to another video. This is a little response to Black Pen Red Pen's video because he told me to solve this limit right here using different methods. You choose the easy path and I have to do the difficult one and that's not okay. Black Pen Red Pen. I couldn't sleep this night properly because I had this thing trapped in my head. I wasn't able to finish this. Yesterday evening I had the wrong approach I guess and well, I couldn't sleep because of that. And also, I finished this problem right here like 20 minutes ago and now I want to share it, I want to upload it as soon as possible. So we are going to solve it in a different way than he did. And to do this, we are just taking a look at this first part right here. 1 plus 1 over x to the x power. Okay, and let's take a look at this. So, what is 1 plus 1 over x to the x power? So we can rewrite this a bit equivalently, that's equivalent to e to the natural log of 1 plus 1 over x to the x power. And now we can use the natural log property and bring this exponent to the outside. So what do we end up with? That's e to the x times the natural log of 1 plus 1 over x. This doesn't look any easier, it doesn't. And now we are going to take a look at just the exponent right here. And we are going to transform this into a series. I don't want to go too deep into details. This video would take way too long then. I am going to do some quick maths with double F quick maths. Okay, so let's take a look at x times natural log of 1 plus 1 over x. And I want you guys to remember what the power series of the ln of 1 plus u is, for example. So, ln of 1 plus u. We can represent this in a power series with regards to a zero. So, u at zero, at the point zero. And we can write this as follows. So, this is the sum from, let's say, k equals to 1 to infinity of minus 1 to the k minus 1 power times x to the k over k, uh, u to the k in this case. I'm sorry, so u to the k. Hmm, okay, <laughs> how does this help us? So that's an alternating series right here. We can plug this information in, for example. We are just going to say that u does equal to 1 over x, and let's see where we get with this. So this is equal to x times the sum from k equals to 1 to infinity of minus 1 to the k minus 1th power times 1 over x to the kth power over k. What can we observe? Well, 1 over x is just x to the minus 1th power and x to the minus 1th power to the kth power is just x to the minus, minus kth power. Okay, so we can rewrite this. So this is just x times the series from k equals to 1 to infinity of minus 1 to the k plus one, uh, minus 1 power, and then times x to the minus, minus k power, uh, that's a tongue breaker, over k. And now we can distribute this k into here. We can do this, and well, that just means that's x to the minus k power plus 1. So all in all, this thing right here is just the infinite sum from k equals to 1 of minus 1, to the k minus 1 power times x to the 1 minus k over k. Now we can plug this into here. It's not making things easier, it's, it's, it's pretty stupid. But we are doing it this way now and I want you to remember what the exponential function of some exponent is. We are just going to call this guy right here z for the moment. Okay. So now let's take a look at e to the z. We can also represent this, uh, this in a serious way. <laughs> serious way. You got this? So that's a series from, let's say, n equals to 0 to infinity of z to the nth power over n factorial. Okay, so with, this, with respect to this one, we can just plug it in and see what we get. It's not nice, it's, it's kind of messy, and I'm going to continue this on a 
clean board, but we are going to write it out at first. So this right here is just 1 plus, and then we get z over 1 factorial plus z squared over 2 factorial plus z to the third power over 3 factorial plus da da da. And with this right here we are going to continue. So that's what we've got right now. That's what we concluded till now. And I wrote a with here because we are going to rewrite this right here a little bit, this series up here. I want to write it out a bit so that you can see better. Those are just going to be some simple calculations. I'm not going too much into detail. I'm just going to show you what I concluded when solving this problem. So this series right here, Z, is equal to... Okay, at first we start with a positive one. So this is one. And after that, what do we get? So then this is uh, a minus. So that's alternating. And then we get x to the 1 minus 2. So that's x to the minus 1. So 1 over x and, well, over 2. So minus 1 over 2x. And this pattern will continue. It's going to alternate all the time. So positive 1 over 3x squared, negative 1 over 4x to the third power, and so on. This is going to continue up until infinity. And now we can calculate those two right here. We are just going to take a look at those two right here for a moment. Okay, so what is z squared? And like I said before, we are just going to take a look at the first few terms. So, just to make things clear. This is 1 minus 1 over 2x plus 1 over 3x squared minus 1 over 4x to the third power and times this whole thing again. I'm going to write it this way so that you can see better. So times 2x plus 1 over 3x squared minus 1 over 4x to the third power. Okay, so what do we end up with? So at first there's a constant 1 right here. So this is 1 and then we are going to make this across. So this is minus 1 over 2x, minus 1 over 2x. And after that, what do we get? And here's a dot dot dot. Don't forget that. That's infinite. <laughs> okay, the next thing, well, this is 1. No, no, we are going to multiply those two. So this is 1, so plus 1 over 4x squared. This is kind of improvised right now because I, I just wanted to bring this to the whiteboard this problem. Okay, next thing. What do we get? So this is um, plus 1 over 3x squared and then plus 1 over 3x squared. And we are going to stop at this point and say plus dot dot dot. Okay, so we can bring this a little bit together. So that's 1 minus 2 over 2x. So this cancels out. And then plus, we are going to expand those fractions right here. So this is 4 over 12 x squared, and we are going to expand uh, 3 over 12 x squared. We are going to expand this fraction by 4. So this is 4 over 12 x squared, same thing here, 4 over 12 x squared. And now we can bring those together. So that's kind of a mess. That's, that's kind of ridiculous doing it that way. So what do you end up with? This is 11 over 12 x squared plus da da da. And now we are going to take a look at the third power. What is set to the third power? Well, that's that times um, this right here. Let's do this. So what do we get now? So at first this is just a 1, once again. So this is 1. And then what do we get? That's minus 1 over x, minus 1 over 2x. I'm going, um, I'm going to multiply a bit more. And then positive 1 over 2x squared. And then we can move on if you like, but we don't have to. We can stop at this point. Oh, no, we are going to add those two. two. So plus 1 over 3x squared plus 11 over 12x squared plus dot dot dot. 
Now we can bring them together once again. So this is 1 and we are going to expand this. So this is 2 over 2x and this is minus 3 over 2x. And maybe you are already seeing where I'm going. And then minus. Oh, no, not minus. Positive. So what's that right here? We are going to expand this by 6 and this by 6 and we are going to expand this by 4 and this by 4. Okay. Um, this is 12 right now and this is also 12 right here. Okay, what do we get? So this is something, so that's 20 and 21. 21 over 12 x squared plus da da da. I hope I don't make any mistakes. <laughs> and let's also take a look at z to the third power, uh, fourth power. So z to the fourth power is just this right here two times. So, what do we end up with now? So this right here is just 1. And then minus 1 over x, minus 1 over x. And then positive 1 over x squared. And then plus 11 over 12 x squared, plus 11 over 12 x squared. Now I'm getting the hang of it. <laughs> and this is indeed 1 minus 2 over x, and then positive. So this is expanding by 12. So this is 34, 34 over 12 x squared plus da da da. And now we are going to plug all this information up to the fourth power into this equation right here and see what we get. Oh, I wrote everything out and here's going to be the best part. We are going to shorten some expressions now. So we can distribute this 1 over 2 factorial, 1 over 3 factorial into these terms right here. So what do we end up with? So at first this is just 1 plus. And we know what z is. z is just this right here. So this is 1 minus 1 over 2x and then positive 1 over 3x squared plus dot 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 or minus dot dot dot. Whatever you wish. Okay, next thing. We are going to distribute this into here. So this is positive. 1 over 2 factorial. So next thing, negative 1 over 2 factorial times x. And the next thing is plus 11 over 2 factorial 12 times x squared plus or minus dot dot dot. I hope you see where I'm going at. And then this is positive 1 over 3 factorial. And the next thing is minus. And keep in mind, 3 factorial is nothing else than 3 times 2 times 1. And now, those 3's would cancel out right here on this term. And then we would just end up with 2 factorial. So 1 over 2 factorial in this case. So what we end up with is 1 over 2 factorial times 2x. That's going to be great. Plus 21 over... 3 factorial times 12 x squared minus dot dot dot. And now for the last one right here. I'm going to write it here. So what do we end up with? So that's positive 1 over 4 factorial. And then negative. 4 factorial is nothing else than 4 times 3 times 2 times 1. And the great thing is this 4 and this 2 kind of cancel out, so this is 1 half, so this is 1 over 2x and 3 factorial gets left. So this is 1 over 3 factorial times 2x. <laughs> That's the greatest part. Plus 34 over 4 factorial times 12x squared. Negative dot dot dot. And this is going to continue forever. Here's the most crucial part. So, at first we are going to take a look at those terms. So, this is 1 plus 1 plus 1 over 2 factorial plus 1 over 3 factorial plus 1 over 4 factorial plus 1 over 5 factorial and so on unto infinity. And this exactly, if you plug this into the definition of the exponential function, you will end up with e to the first power. So the first thing we can conclude is that there's an e right here. It's going to get better. 
So we got rid of some terms. And now, you see, here's that. And then there's this right here. And this is just 1 over 2x, indeed. Just once again. Okay, and the next thing is 1 over 2 factorial times 2x. And this will go on. 1 over 3 factorial times 2x. This will go on until forever. So what you can conclude, we can factor out a minus 1 over 2x. So this is minus 1 over 2x times 1 plus 1 because those two are equivalent. And then plus 1 over 2 factorial from here plus 1 over 3 factorial from here and so on. And just like before, that's the exponential function. And then we can continue with some more terms. But I'm going to write them in a different way. All the other terms that come after that, we can say that there's like a common factor of 1 over x squared. You will see why I'm going to use this. Times blah blah blah. This right here doesn't matter anymore. So we can factor out a 1 over x to the second power, for example. Okay, so what do we end up with finally? This is e minus e over 2x plus this weird little term. And now we are going to plug this into our original limit. So our original limit said that. So we've got the limit as x approaches infinity of. So this was, we can plug this in, we just transform this into a power series. So this is e minus e over 2x plus 1 over x squared dot dot dot. Okay? And this whole thing times x. And then minus e times x. This blue pen doesn't work anymore. And now we can distribute this x into here. So what do we end up with? So this is just the limit as x approaches infinity of. The first term is e times x. The next term is minus e times x over 2x. So those two cancels out. Cancel out. So that's e over 2 plus something 1 over x times something dot 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 minus e to the x. And now you will notice this and that cancels out really nicely. And now we can let x approach infinity. Here's the greatest part. Since we've got this term right here, this 1 over x. When x approaches infinity, that's 1 over infinity and this becomes 0. So when taking the limit, this just becomes 0. And what we end up with is just this constant right here, minus e over 2. So our limit is just minus e over 2. And then we are done. So that was quite some work. But thank you Blackpen Redpen for this great problem. Took me some time to figure this out, but it, yeah, it, it was fun, it was nice. If you like this video, please like and subscribe and recommend me if you like. And up until the next video, have a flammable day. See ya. Akiro will gleich wieder spielen. Hm, super, Anton. Ah.